Hello everyone and welcome by the Orchid Saga. My name is Ilke Jan Wiersmaer. I'm an orchid grower from the Netherlands. And today I have what I call a silly repot. Um, it happens. It still happens to me from time to time. I don't know how, but what happened uh, with this one, the, and we're going to repot this one. Let me first let you see the tag. This is the Alelia Peperata variety Rubra. The one with the beautiful, beautiful purple, uh, fairly large blooms. And I did put it up in 20, 2020. So, but what happened, you may already, no, you cannot see it because it's too low for the camera to pick up. But here we are. This is the back of the part. This is a division. And that's okay, but you can see it should have been way more up here. And then I would have even more room i probably had two more uh, years to grow this cane on but now this one is really pushing to the side of the pot as you can see so yeah i'm, I'm going to take it out this is about to make new roots so this is a fairly mature cane it even is making a sheet it did start blooming last year for the first time for me but maybe we will have some blooms in the near future but yeah this one before it starts really to root i want to uh, give this more room and so therefore uh, we first need to take it out of the outer pot and have a look well we have a, a lot of teeny tiny roots as you can see see so yeah, i'm not wearing my gloves today because i run out of gloves but anyhow this plant is uh, very healthy i believe but we have some uh, good roots a few old ones that we can trim off while we have it out of the pot let me uh, turn this around like this i should adjust the camera a little bit there we go so yeah you can see it even has uh, some uh, roots outside of the pot I, I try to do that every time i have an area root or quite often i try to put them in and they will grow on like uh, they don't need the media but uh, it's handier, of course, <laughs> to let it wick. But otherwise, they will uh, will perfectly grow out uh, uh, with the media, or at least some roots they like to attach, of course. But this is also what I do with my family opsis. So I will have in the, new in the near future more of these uh, type of repottings because I have to do some fails as well. But anyhow, and we see a lot of little tiny dark roots. That is the, those are from these... these uh, weeds i call them weeds uh, on top of uh, the pot and i don't have ferns as yeah i have ferns so some fern roots as well so yeah this is it for uh for how it looks now so i'm going to put it here in my tray here you can see that there not trying to break this root but there we go so i'm going to make a little bit of a room here and I'm going to adjust the camera quickly. Easier. Let me put it there. I have my scissors ready. So let's try to uh, get it out. And I hope I can uh, keep quite some roots. But I see some dark ones as well. So it's it's uh, may uh, actually be a good idea to do a repot on this one, just to clean stuff up. Sometimes it just, even though it ne necessarily needs a repot, sometimes we just need to clean it up a little bit inside of the pot. And it shouldn't be a big problem because this one is used to the setup, but on the other hand, the more roots we have, the more uh, ability or chances we have that we damage those roots. So yeah, I don't like to repot them if not necessary, but like I said, sometimes it's, oops, there it goes handy and uh, yeah a lot of <laughs> extra roots so to speak so let's uh, have a look let me grab my scissors and i'm going to uh well actually well it's not a good root but it's not not uh, that mushy but this no this one isn't <laughs> i almost said it this one is so yeah these are all the roots, I believe. I'm not sure. We have some uh, there's some dead ones, so I can cut those off. But yeah, we actually have quite a, a life, a lot of alive roots as well. Hmm. 
Let's see, maybe some media will fall off on its own. Makes it a little bit easier. So yeah, we have a few apparently that need to come off. Yeah, even that rope. I'm going to cut it off, but it still feels firm, strangely enough. That one wasn't firm. So we shall see. I'm going to take a few of these plants off. They have funny uh, heart-shaped leaves, so I don't mind them that much. But they are as a, they grow as a weed, you guys. Absolutely crazy. So I try to get out most of them out while we edit. While we can. <laughs> Yeah, because it's not always helpful. This seems to be a very uh, good drinker, this plant. Yeah, if you have a, a lot of other plants around it and a lot of roots, yeah, who is drinking the most and who is getting the fertilizer? In this case, I want my orchids to get it. <laughs> so ferns and, and other things, with an exception for moss, I, uh, I will try to get out. The moss I really uh, like, a moss doesn't need fertilizer or not much at all and will not have those in incredibly long thin roots anyhow so yeah as we can see here i don't mind this moss at all actually i really enjoy the look of it and ferns as well don't but i don't want them like i said in my pots because they start drinking the reservoir of empty fairly fairly quickly um this oops where is that long root Try to get the water meter off. I did use it as a stake in this case. That's sometimes very handy. It's already there. I need the water meter in my system. So sometimes I just use it as a stake as well, just to, to get that bulb or the, the arc uh, steady in a pot. Let me turn it around. Hmm, yeah, I do have, I believe, some dead roots here. Where's my scissors? Here. Yeah, these are dead. These are dry and dead. So because these can go, this one can go, this one can go. So yeah, we have a bunch here that actually. Do not do much anymore. <laughs> so many teeny tiny little roots in here. How about this part? Yeah, I'm going to cut it off. This is one root and with a lot of branches, but uh, those do look very brown. So probably not the healthiest. They do not feel very mossy, but I'm going to cut it off anyhow, just to get a little bit more air and space in here. At least I try. At least I try. So let me... Should now come off fairly easily. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, this one wasn't dead. For sure. But yeah, it was... Very, very brown. There we go. What do you see? This part was definitely not dead. It's hard, you guys, but this is a, a good example. So don't misread the color of your roots. You never know. <laughs> but once again, this one has very nice, a fairly nice root system. And I'm just going to give it a clean up. I noticed that the how is it called the hummus i think yeah the hummus that i use does give the roots a, a bit of a brownish color and sometimes if the ph was a little bit too low it might get even black but if you are catching it before it starts to get black it very it keeps on uh, yeah 
starts to be very uh, brown this one is broken so you can see we have a bit, a bit of different colors a bit of black as it look but also a bit of brown so this might be in a situation where the pH was a little bit on the low side and then then the roots can survive that but they will just get some discoloration on them so that might be a problem from the past I don't know but I can't check the pH of that water that I have but I, I, I'm pretty sure it's okay because the rest is doing well and it's well actually the whole plant is doing well there you go a little bit more room so you can see then the chances are that you can get a, a little bit more media which I wanted in this case because we want some air in that root system once again because I already have it out of the pot otherwise I would just left it in a pot but now we are here we might give it some air and my put it in a net pot a big one I'm not sure yet I thought I would put it back in its original pot yeah, but I'm not sure yet we will uh, we will see in a minute first we need to uh, clean up the root system as good as we can well I could do it better but I don't going to take all out because most of these roots are nice even those brown ones this one no this one is mostly so I'm going to, because it's stuck there, I'm just pulling off the vellum. In. So I'm cleaning it up as good as I can, but I will not tear this apart because I will do so much damage on the alive roots. So, and that's not what we want. So like, once again, I just pull the string, the vellum in off, and then you will have the actual root left. You can see it here. Oops, oh, I probably had a uh, leaf on a mic. I'm sorry if that makes uh, annoying noises. <laughs> this happens when you're filming, especially with Repot sometimes. You don't uh, mention it, or notice it, I should say. But you have something uh, bumping into your mic. <laughs> This root can go as well. This is a one that definitely needs to go. See? Hoppa! There we go. <laughs> Let me check. Yeah. Where are you going? In there, I believe. Yeah, this one needs to go as well. Found another one. This one. I believe that can go. Yeah, see? Very old root, or at least not a healthy root. Not sure how old it is. A tired root, as Rachi says sometimes. And I agree, some roots are just uh, done, they are tired, <laughs> they can leave. And in meanwhile, this is loosening up fairly nicely here in the back, I hope you can see it. Okay. So yeah, it basically naturally happens, so in that case, oops, this root is also broke. So that one can come off as well. So here we go, oops. There it is. Yes, taking your time for these type of repots is beneficial. You can see slowly building up and I did get even more media off than I uh, expected when I started this repot. But just see how far you can go without doing a lot of damage. I found another fairly big rotting root. See, another one, there you go. We don't need those anymore. So yeah, these browns we just did check. How about you? Yeah, this one is a dead one as well. Let me check it. Can I get it out? Whoops. Just pulling it out. This one, it was a little bit handier. <laughs> yeah, 
we need to cut off a few here. And there we go. Sometimes pulling works a little bit better. So you can take the media with it as well. But I don't suggest you do that too much because then you will damage those healthy roots even more. I did break that one, apparently. Well, we're talking about it. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, check the other side. I think I'm about done. Well, actually, yeah. This root is broken here, so I'm going to cut the last part of it. Hopefully it will uh, start to branch again. More roots, fine roots from a different plant. <laughs> Some leca. This is falling off. Let me check. Can we make more room here? Dead roots. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm going to pull them off to see. Almost, almost there. Yeah, this part needs to come off. I don't like the look of it. It's too brown. Maybe it's a little bit alive still, but I think those will not last as long anymore. Anyhow, anymore, anyhow. So <laughs> cut them off. Here we go. There one can come off with a bunch of lecca attached to it. Another dead one here. So yeah, we are cleaning this part up as well fairly nicely. Let me check. Hmm. Hard to see. So, are you alive? You are not. So yeah, we have quite a bit of room. Oops, I was a little too high. Bit of room in front of this new growth where new roots should uh, start to appear. I wouldn't be surprised that I do get another direction of growth here, but this one dried up. I have an uh, eye here, I believe, that might shoot out. That would be fun to have two directions of growth. I'm not going to split it yet. I'm going to leave it. It's uh, a nice size plant and who knows in the near future I might make a division, but not today. Let me see if I can get some of these off. I'll loosen them up a little bit while we having it here. Anyhow, I don't do this that much if not necessary, but like I said, we have it here on the table, so I'm going to get some sheets off. If those new, new roots come, they can uh, have it a little bit easier. There we go. No new roots yet, but I think they are uh, should be on their way. You don't want to pull off sheets too early, of course. If the Growth is not there yet. Actually, I have a note here as well on this bulb, but I'm not. I'm go not going to take the sheet out because I'm. <laughs> I'm afraid that I will damage that uh, new eye. Let me. Uh, I'm completely out of frame again. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like this, so I'm sorry. You can see uh, we have some sheets on there, but we should have the roots coming up from here or maybe a bit further down and that's okay. There's more room now. I'm sorry, I was a little bit out of frame, like I said. Let me see, this is the uh, old pot. Do we put it back? Because it's, it's okay, even though with that, bit of dirty water let me see can I whoops 
let's make a mess. I'm just uh, checking if I don't do want to put it back. Uh, well, I'm going to clean up and decide because this is, uh, <laughs> may take a few moments. I'm not completely sure what to do yet, but I will be uh, uh, back with the answer and, <laughs> and then we will uh, put this one up again. Yes, I did make up my mind. <laughs> I will try to put it back in the exact same pot. That I did quickly give a flush under the tap. It's not completely clean, but it doesn't matter. Because I did my measurements on the reservoir as well. I had a pH of 7.5 and the parts per million was 102. So very nicely, beautiful. So this water may seem dirty and it, it basically is, but I keep it because I'm also a strong believer in uh, good bacteria, so very healthy bacteria, an in environment that the plant is also making with the water that it gets, of course, but it's always creating, there's always something happening there. So for sometimes it's just a waste to uh, throw that away. So I'm going to use it. It's used to this setup, even though with some older uh, roots in there, rotting roots, it, uh, it's, it's nice and, and fairly clean uh, water. So just to put it out there, I did check it. I'm not being uh, lazy or anything. It's uh, on purpose. <laughs> and, but now, you guys, a little bit of a challenge. How to get it back in. Maybe I should put first the roots in and then the water meter. And I will think about my own advice in the beginning of this video. To put it uh, back to the pot, that horizon I have here, you can not see it, but I now have it fairly uh, almost touching, actually it's now touching the edge of the pot. <laughs> but the new growth is here, so I will keep it in, a, in the middle a little bit, and therefore it's just a strange angle, because these are barely laying, <laughs> as you can see, and these are standing up. That's how it grows. I have room for those to lay there. So uh, I'm not sure how it happened. Probably I did put it up in a strange angle. I'm not completely sure what was uh, what I was thinking back in the days. Back in the days, but there's the water meter. Let me uh, hold that with one hand. And now I just gently have to put up um, this pot with this arc. Um, meanwhile, I'm checking. I have some moss in there, that's okay, that will find its way. So I'm going to make some noise. And I'm starting with clean pumice this time, because there were some uh, dying roots, so therefore, and it, this has still some media on there, so probably some good bacteria, but I will clean it up a little bit, just to give it a little bit of fresh start don't want to push it too much of course but I, I really meant it I'm a really strong believer of good and healthy bacteria just like children who are always inside of the home or children who are, are quite often outside I think it's it's better not everything is bad I'm not saying you are of course but I think a lot of people are a little bit too clean and we might be too clean a little bit on my, our plants as well I think nature has a way to uh, look after us more than we uh, than we most of the times. No, I think <laughs> it's beautiful how things work. So that's uh, my reason why I don't clean it up as uh, as you might think. Let's let's put it like that because I like things to be clean, of course, but. Uh, yeah, that's the reason. So I think that this one is nicely potted up again. As you can see, we have even a little bit more room. And I might leave it another growing season. I'm not sure. But otherwise, I probably will take it out of the pot and I might divide it by then or cut some other bulbs off. So that's why I didn't chose a way bigger pot. Because I think not this year, but next year I might start to repot it again. And it's fine. And hopefully one of those eyes here will start to grow in the meanwhile. You never know. So don't forget the top layer, which I sometimes do. When I am um, done filming, I realized I didn't use the pebbles. <laughs> Just a nice layer. This will uh, keep 
uh, avoiding a top dry layer. And also I like these pebbles. And the orchids do like them as well. These are not wicking, so only if when I water the plant they will be wet for a while and then will they will dry up. So that's very uh, very easy. Uh, easy, yeah, easy and um, helpful, especially because this is very close to the pot as you can see. I think yeah you can see it and so that's why I'm putting more pebbles around the back of the orchid because I don't want it, those back bulbs to be wet. So that's how I can change a little bit and adjust a little bit more where I want to be to be more moist in the front of the pot and a little bit dry in the back of the pot, pot because those are once again older bulbs probably will not shoot out anymore. So uh, that's why January 23 and on the label it says 2020. So I thought I had a repot last year, but apparently it's in, uh, in this pot for uh, almost three years now. Two and a half, so something like that. So that's going well. So like I said, it, last year I have a uh, care collab about these guys. I did bloom. So if you don't forget, I will uh, put a link in so you can check it. But um, yeah, beautiful blooms. And I have some white stuff here. Oh, that's, uh, that is uh, happy sap. <laughs> Dried up happy sap. No, uh, no, uh, come on, scale or anything. So that's, uh, that's okay. But yeah, this has a beautiful, you can see, we have more happy sap over here on the tip. It's more fresh. Hope you can see it. So yeah, this, uh, I hope this will uh, bloom again, but I think it looks pretty nice. We have uh, some room, some air. This is an old uh, root. I didn't clean it uh, <laughs> good enough probably, but you can see here, that's that area root we have. Just did put it up. So obviously it was used to a, uh, wet environment anyhow so uh, so yeah this is it once again if you want uh, some updates in the new future of this one please let me know in the comment section uh with another video of course oh yeah you can put it here but <laughs> let's wait a month or so before we do our uh, first updates but anyhow let me know what you uh, what you like to see and otherwise i might forget it so that's why i uh not always show every orchid in my video of course for now, thank you for watching. If you like, give this please a, uh, a like, this video. And of course, if you didn't already have, please cons consider subscribing to my channel. That would really help me out. And of course, I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.